Coming in number 10, Jormungand. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2012 with 12 episodes. Its genres are action, adventure, and sign-in. Brought up in a conflict-ridden environment, child soldier Jonathan Jonah Marr hates weapons and those who deal with them. But when Coco Hetfenyar, an international arms dealer, takes on Jonah as one of her bodyguards, he has little choice but to take up arms. Along with Coco's other bodyguards, composed mostly of formal special ops soldiers, Jonah is now tasked with protecting Coco in her overly idealistic goal of world peace from the countless dangers that come from her line of work. Jormungan follows Coco, Jonah, and the rest of the crew as they travel the world selling weapons under the international shipping company HCLI. As Coco's work is illegal under international law, she is forced to constantly sidestep both local and international authorities while doing business with armies, private militaries, and militias. With the CIA always hot on her trail and assassins around every corner, Jonah and the crew must guard Coco in her dream of world peace with their lives, or die trying. Coming in at number 9, Black Lagoon. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2006 with 24 episodes. Its genres are action and sign-in. Within Thailand is Ronapur, a deprived, crime-ridden city where not even the authorities or churches are untouched by the claws of corruption. A haven for convicts and degenerates alike, the city is notorious for being the center of illegal activities and operations, often fueled by local crime syndicates. Enter Rakuo Okajima, an average Japanese businessman who has been living a dull and monotonous life, when he finally gets his chance for a change of pace with a delivery trip to Southeast Asia. His business trip swiftly goes downhill as Rakuro is captured by a mercenary group operating Ronapur called Black Lagoon. The group plans to use him as a bargaining chip in negotiations which ultimately fail. Now abandoned and betrayed by his former employer, Rakuro decides to join Black Lagoon. In order to survive, he must quickly adapt to his new environment and prepare himself for the bloodshed and tribulation to come. Coming in at number 8, Tugainu Nochi. This anime has only been subbed, premiered on October 2010 with 12 episodes. Its genres are action, sci-fi, and shonen eye. In the wake of a third world war which left Japan in ruins, an organization known as Vishio seized control of Tokyo and renamed it Toshima. Taking place in its back alleys are battle games known as Igura, overseen by the Vishio, in which contestants battle and bathe in each other's blood to earn the chance to go up against its tournament's king, Irire. Igura is not the only fighting tournament around. Blaster is a similar yet vastly different game since it prohibits murder and the use of weapons. The only way to win is by knocking out the opponent. Ikura, a young man isolated from his family, is known to be undefeatable at Blaster. However, his life on the top is shattered when he is accused of murder. Unable to prove his own innocence, all hope is seemingly lost. That is, until a mysterious woman named Emma appears and offers him a chance. Now, to regain his freedom, Ikuro must participate in Igura and ultimately defeat Irere. Coming in at number 7, Darker Than Black. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2007 with 46 episodes. Its genres are action, sci-fi, mystery, and superpower. It has been 10 years since Heaven's Gate appeared in South America and Hell's Gate appeared in Japan, veiling the once familiar night sky with an oppressive skyscape. Their purposes unknown, these gates are spaces in which the very laws of physics are ignored. With the appearance of the gates emerge contractors who, in exchange for their humanity, are granted supernatural abilities. In the Japanese city surrounding Hell's Gate, Section 4 Chief Misaki Kitahara finds herself at odds with an infamous contractor codenamed Hai. Called Black Reaper in the underground world, Hai, like his associates, undertakes missions for the mysterious and ruthless syndicate while slowly peeling back the darker layers covering a nefarious plot that threatens the very existence of contractors. Coming in at number 6, Codebreaker. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on October 2012 with 13 episodes. Its genres are action, comedy, school, shonen, superpower, and supernatural. 
Riding the bus one day, Sakura Koji Sakura looks out the window to see people being burned alive with a blue fire and a boy her age who's unharmed and standing over the people. She comes back to the site the next day and there are no corpses or evidence of any kind of murder, just a small fire. She then goes to class to find there's a new transfer student, Ugami Rei, who looks exactly like the boy she saw before and wears a black glove only on his left hand. Ugami is a codebreaker, one who does not exist. He is a seemingly cold-blooded killer who follows the principle of an eye for an eye to use evil against evil. Convinced that killing is not right, Sakura Koji sets out to stop him and penetrate his icy heart. Coming in at number 5, Phantom. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2009 with 26 episodes. Its genres are action, drama, sinan, and thriller. Mafia is rife in America, where assassinations are a regular occurrence on the streets. Inferno, a mysterious company, is behind most of these dealings through the use of their near-invincible human weapon, Phantom. One day, a Japanese tourist accidentally witnesses Phantom's latest murder. Desperate to escape, the tourist hides in a secluded building. However, Phantom, revealed to be a young woman named Ayn, and the leader of the Inferno, Scythe Master, captures the tourist and brainwashes him. Given the name Zwei, this once peaceful tourist is now a puppet of Inferno with no memories. Drawn into a world of lies, deceit, and violence, Zwei must fight to survive, hopefully to one day regain his memories and escape from this world where he is constantly on the brink of death. Coming in at number 4, Berserk. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on July 2016 with 24 episodes. Its genres are action, adventure, demons, drama, fantasy, horror, military, romance, sinan, and supernatural. Now branded for death and destined to be hunted by demons until the day he dies, Guts embarks on a journey to defy such a gruesome fate, as waves of beasts relentlessly pursue him. Stealing his resolve, he takes up the monstrous blade Dragon Slayer and vows to exact vengeance on the one responsible, hunting down the very man he once looked up to and considered a friend. Along the way, he encounters some unlikely allies such as a small elf named Puck and Isidro, a young thief looking to learn swordsmanship from the former mercenary. As the ragtag group slowly comes together after having decided to join Guts in his quest, they will face incredible danger unlike anything they have ever experienced before. Number 3, Bakano. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on July 2007 with 13 episodes. Its genres are action, comedy, historical, mystery, and supernatural. During the 1930s in Chicago, the transcontinental train, Flying Pussyfoot, is starting its legendary journey that will leave a trail of blood all over the country. At the same time, in New York, the ambitious scientist Sillard and his unwilling aide, Ennis, are looking for missing bottles of the immortality elixir. In addition, a war between the Mafia groups is getting worse. On board the Advena Avis in 1711, alchemists are about to learn the price of immortality. Based on the award-winning light novels of the same name, Bacchano, follows several events that initially seemed unrelated, both in time and place, but are part of a much bigger story. One of alchemy's survival and immortality. Merging these events together are the kind-hearted, would-be thieves Isaac and Miria, connecting various people all of them with their own hidden ambitions and agendas, and creating lifelong bonds and consequences for everyone involved. Number 2, Fate Zero. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on October 2011 with 25 episodes. Its genres are action, supernatural, magic, and fantasy. With the promise of granting any wish, the omnipotent Holy Grail triggered three wars in the past, each too cruel and fierce to leave a victor. In spite of that, the wealthy Eisburn family is confident that the fourth Holy Grail War will be different. Namely, with a vessel of the Holy Grail now in their grasp. Solely for this reason, the much-hated Magus killer, Kiritsugu Imiya, is hired by the Eisburns with marriage to their only daughter, Irisville, as binding contract. And now, number one, Psycho Pass. This anime has been dubbed premiered on October 2012 with 41 episodes. Its genres are action, sci-fi, police, and psychological. Justice, and the enforcement of it, has changed. In the 22nd century, Japan enforces the Sybil system, 
an objective means of determining the threat level of each citizen by examining their mental state for signs of criminal intent, known as their psychopaths. Inspectors uphold the law by subjugating, often with lethal force, anyone harboring the slightest ill will. Alongside them are enforcers, jaded inspectors that have been latent criminals, granted relative freedom in exchange for carrying out the inspector's dirty work. Into this world steps Akane Sunamori, a young woman with an honest desire to uphold justice. However, as she works alongside veteran enforcer Shinya Kugami, she soon learns that the civil system's judgments are as not as perfect as her fellow inspectors assume. With everything she has known turned on its head, Akane wrestles with the question of what justice truly is, and whether it can be upheld through the use of a system that may already be corrupt.